today I'm going to show you how to paint without paint brushes. It can be easy and a lot of fun and this video is going to show you how you can use a few simple things from around the house to create your next masterpiece. I'm going to start by using a muffin tin I found in my kitchen along with some cotton wool and some pegs. I'm using six different coloured paints which means I will need six different bits of cotton wool and six pegs. But you can use as many or as little as you like, depending on how much paint you have and what you'd like to do. I really enjoyed painting with the cotton wool balls and you get a really great effect. I think I might do this more often in the future. I found some lace in my craft cupboard, which I thought would make for an excellent print. All I've done is rolled some paint onto the lace and then using a glass cup, I have rolled over the lace to get this lovely, beautiful lacy effect. If you're anything like me, you'll have a lot of bubble wrap lying around the house. Today I'm going to show you how to use some of that bubble wrap to get a really cool bobbly effect on your painting. To do this, you're going to need some sticky tape, a rolling pin and some bubble wrap. Once you have cut your bubble wrap and rolled it around your rolling pin and stuck it down with some sticky tape, put a fair whack of paint onto your rolling pin. I used lots of colours and I got this really great rainbow striking effect. It also makes a really great crunchy poppy noise as you roll, which is much better than using a paintbrush. Another great way to paint without paintbrushes is with a spongy roller and some string. Doesn't matter what sort of string you use, as long as it's a nice long piece. All you'll need to do is wrap your string around the spongy part of the roller nice and tight. You can go around as many times as you wish before finishing with a tight knot and cutting off the loose ends. This technique uses a lot of paint, so prepare to get messy. Make sure you squash your roller through the paint nice and thick before you roll it over your paper. You get this really great striped effect. So if you used green, it would be great for grass in your artwork. Don't throw out that toilet roll you've got there because it would make for a great stamp. For this next painting without brushes technique, you'll need three toilet rolls or you can use a paper towel roll cut into three pieces or any really cardboard roll will do as long as it's cut into three pieces and some sticky tape. Stick your three cardboard rolls together with the sticky tape and now you're ready to get stamping. The final painting without brushes technique I'm going to show you today will involve a long piece of string and a paint palette. I've used the lid of a hummus container which worked quite well. Squeeze a large amount of paint onto your chosen paint palette. Then taking your string, completely smother it in the paint that you've chosen. Now carefully take the dipped string and place it on one half of your chosen piece of art paper. Carefully fold the piece of paper in half and then very carefully, with one hand on top of the art paper, pull the string and wiggle it out at the same time. Once the string is completely out of the paper, open up your piece of artwork and you will have this great double sided image. Thanks for watching. I hope this has inspired you to get painting without brushes. can you find outside in your backyard that you might use instead of a paintbrush? Might it be a leaf or a flower or some grass? Who knows? Go wild!